Good morning. It's day 133. A bit of a sunrise going on behind me there. I just crawled out and I'm stretching still. It's about six, ten after six. Yeah, I've been on trail a little over an hour, um, so I check in. Um, just came down a steep, steep ravine, and looks like I'm about to climb up another one. Um, it's very rocky, but not like Pennsylvania rocky. It's just the New York, uh, New Jersey rocks are seem just less brutal on the feet. All things considered, I'm not sure what the major difference is. Maybe that they aren't so relentless. But uh, anyway, here's, here's a shot of what I'm about to climb up. So it was uh, level, eye, eye level is right about there. So that's the looking up a somewhat steep incline. I know it just looks flat on screen, but. Explains a little bit of what questions I had about the architecture. So the building's from the 1940s. I'm just told the bathroom addition was from 96. But still, I was under underwhelmed by by that. So yeah, we're still on the trail to New Jersey High Point, but. Um, the AT takes a hard right turn right before you get to the high point. And so, yeah, it's a, it's a 0.2 mile side trail up to the high point um, from, from there, which I'll wait and decide when I get there. It's still a little bit away, but we're kind of on the, on the ridge leading to it right now. So I'm headed up the observation tower. I hadn't really noticed before how uh, cloudy it is today. I didn't, I didn't register it as cloudy when I was at the, at the state park uh, building. All right, here we are. Oh, there's High Point right up ahead. It has an obelisk on it. And then there's also a lake with a beach. You can hear the people. I was just about to come on to say that uh, in 30 minutes I'll be halfway for the day and um, take my lunch break, but just stumbled across the next shelter, which I wasn't tracking. Um, so I'm gonna pop in there and maybe that's where I'll have lunch because I'm feeling hungry. Even though I had 
a large breakfast. Well, I might full breakfast plus a brownie, so I guess that's a large breakfast. Oh, flowing stream. I haven't seen one of these in quite some time, really. <laughs> really. And I smell, what do I smell bacon? So I took a 30-ish minute break at the uh, shelter back there for lunch. I was surprised at how hungry I, hungry I was, or I am. Um, I could have eaten every bit of my lunch and snacks for the day, but uh, I only ate about three quarters of it. But as of now, I've got a little under six miles to go to Union Mill. So I should get there around 4 to 4.15. Um, it's like 1.25 right now. And right now it's pretty flat, pretty smooth, and pretty pretty. So my earbud today, my audiobook, I'm listening to The Hail Mary Project, or Project Hail Mary, by Andy Weir. And in typical Andy Weir fashion, it must be his his go-to character trope now. Um, the main character is a, a very smart-alecky, smart-alecky scientist. And instead of, uh, instead of Matt Damon, um, I feel like this role will go to Ryan Reynolds. He's got a very kind of Ryan Reynolds snarkiness to him, at least the way he's being performed by the narrator. So, um, just a little ear candy. For today. There's an old rock wall over there. Just crossed one of these ancient looking stone walls from the woods. To the edge of this field. I'm walking on top of a dam of sorts. Um, the pond to my left is nominally at my the elevation of my path, but to the right it's down several feet. There you go, you gonna move? There you go. smell I can smell the algae well, I'm off the AT I'm on County Road something on my way into Unionville it is seven minutes after four the hostel I was hoping to get into opens at four and it's like physically first come first serve. You can't call ahead. So I'm racing 
uh, trying to beat four other imaginary hikers. That old abandoned house. Wow. Oh, the, the shading makes it impossible to capture on film. An old falling down Victorian white fiber house with a huge cupola on top or a widow's walk or something. It was really cool, but it was in, it was backlit and the whole thing was in shade. It's surrounded by trees, so I couldn't get a good shot of it. So I'm staying at the Sola Hostel. It's a Christian retreat. Anyway, it's a very nicely remodeled basement in a very nicely maintained 1860s house in Unionville, New York. And uh, I'm about to take a shower, put on some town clothes, and head into town for a resupply and dinner. Oh, here's a map of the town as we speak. So. My hair got all fluffy because I'm not wearing a hat and I just took a shower. So it might get a little weird. I'm walking to uh, an Italian restaurant wearing borrowed scrubs and a t-shirt.